Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow Welcome back to Better with Brigetta. Today we're going to do fall decor and we're going to follow that up with a delicious dessert. <laughs> what was that? This came as a garland, but I cut it off and separated them into individual pumpkins. I got these acorns at Hobby Lobby. I got this beautiful faux leather garland at Hobby Lobby this year, which I heard were very popular. Have to fix those. These are some of my favorite, the glass pumpkins, which are going to go into the glass cabinet. But this one is my favorite because it lights up. few more signs. As you can see, I have a healthy obsession with pumpkins. The leather garland and this garland will be on the mantle with ribbon, these two pumpkins, and I have fairy lights. Here's a wreath for one door and a few items for Halloween. You might wonder why I have wrapping paper, but I'll explain that a little bit later. And I have a bunch of fairy lights. Next, I have two kinds of ribbon. Got this orange mesh, and then this wired ribbon. It has all the fall colors in it. So I'm going to weave that in to give it some more texture and depth. Without the cat, stop it. Thank you. I usually have a cat trying to grab my ribbon while I'm trying to do this. Nails on the end to hold this garland. Some are faster, some 
All right, earlier I said that you'd probably be wondering why do I have wrapping paper? I have wrapping paper because we're gonna cut it to fit and it's gonna go here in the cabinet. So this is what it looks like. I'm not quite sure if it matters which way we put it. I'll figure that out in just a minute. And then gonna tape it up there using painter's tape. And then we'll put the shelves back in, took the shelves out, and then I have the pumpkins and other things to put inside. And uh, I have some assistants here who I guess are going to help me do this or just get in the way of me doing this. Here we go. Sky and Dora, my assistants. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. The blue painter's tape, I folded it into itself, and I'm going to put it vertically behind the wrapping paper. So any width that you've got, this is what I've got, which might be an inch, inch and a quarter. It really doesn't matter. And now I'm going to put it behind. <laughs> My assistant is still here. I'm going to put it right behind the wrapping paper to hold it down. I was going to use scissors, but instead I'm just using a razor to cut it as close to the bottom as possible. Of course, once you put stuff in the cabinet, if it's not exact, it's not going to show. Okay. So now we'll need to put the shelves back in and we'll put the stuff on the shelves. But this gives you an idea what it looks like. All right, so now I'm putting the glass shelf back in. There we go. Looks good. Can't wait to put the stuff inside. So now I'm going to put my stuff in the cabinet. But first I wanted to talk about, in case you were wondering, why these cabinets are black and why the others are white. When we bought the house, these beautiful white cabinets were here and we liked them a lot and we wanted to have more of them but unfortunately that just wasn't possible so instead we picked out these black cabinets from ikea mark assembled them all and put them into place and we really like it especially the glass cabinet so now i'm going to decorate it which is what i do every season i change it out and so of course this one's going to be for fall so i'm going to start with that and it usually takes a while to pick out exactly where I want everything. I only have one of this guy. He's so cute. Candle holder, but just one.
Look at this beautiful candlestick. Okay, I'll probably change it out. I have room for more stuff, right? More shopping. Maybe these. Mm. Okay, close the doors. You can still see the wrapping paper. But I have room for more shopping. And now I'm going to put out my little bit of Halloween decor. Not sure. Probably will change it. But it looks good for now. And of course, got to change out my dish towels for fall dish towels. In the last scene, you saw me in the kitchen, and I was at the glass cabinet. I was decorating that, and that's when I discovered I could use a little more fall decor. So guess what we did? We went to Home Goods and got some really cool stuff, and not just for fall either. But let me show you what we did get. Got this pillow, really beautiful. How much was this? This was 25, no, $20, really cute. Check that out. I'll probably put that on our couch. And got paper cups. I'll be making some muffins soon. Oh, this was $4. Got a glass bowl. Needed more. And I don't see the price on this one. Oh yeah, here it is. $3 on a glass bowl, good size for mixing and needed some risers. Wow, these are really heavy. But they come two in a package and they were $17. Really cute. Let me see if I could get them apart here. Okay. Yeah, these are really heavy. These are nice. Okay. And got this fall sign that says thankful. It's really cute metal and then wood base. This was $13, really cute. Probably gonna put that over the bookcase. Then what I really needed more of were aprons. So I've got this one. I like the full size aprons. And that was $10 in black and white. Don't mind the cats running through. It's just a typical day. Got this apron. This is really for fall. I love the pumpkins on it. And this one was also $10. Really great. It has ties, both of them tie in the back. And also got, now this isn't for fall. This will be for Christmas. Got this beautiful plaid throw. This was $20. So I can't wait. We'll put that. We've never had a, a Christmas throw, so we'll put that on the couch. 
It's great. So I'm really excited to use these items. I'm going to put this last light set around this pumpkin. Since it's woven, I'm going to use that to feed it through. I've decided to add two more strands of lights because during the night I want it to be much brighter here. Even though the sun's coming through now and it's nice and bright, but at night it's not bright enough for me. So I have two more sets I'm going to use and I'm just going to feed them in from where I have these other lights. All right, that looks good. You might be wondering why do I have two boxes of Whistle Stop Recipes Apple Crisp? Well, we couldn't decide. It says you can use canned apple or you can use fresh apples. You can actually do it with other berries too or fruits, but we wanted to compare. Oh, it looks delicious. So this is the canned apple compote. Right, and this is the fresh apples. Nice. Okay, which one are you trying first? I'm trying the canned apple compote Okay. First. Of course, Ooh, hot. we could put ice cream on it. A little <laughs> whipped cream. So I guess both are a winner. You can go either way. Fresh apples or canned apples. Happy autumn to everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the fall inspiration. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a